y'all Green Leaf Season 2, Episode 10. Let's just jump right in. Um, Kevin, you wrong as fuck for really leaving like that. Like, not only did you leave, and we still ain't seen what was on the note. You won't even keep in touch. Like, no text, no Facebook message, no, no, no Instagram DM. You ain't doing shit. And, you know, Aaron, uh, Ray Campbell's son, Fish, is going through. More so than Charity. He going down. He didn't lost his little secret. He cannot run to the arms of the one who loves him. He is literally distraught because you left his ass high and dry, and he is not okay with that. Oh, my God. Okay, I can understand why you felt like Charity was going to be all right because she had Jabari or whatever. And y'all son, who don't deserve to be a fatherless child, bitch. I just don't understand. On a lighter note, I was expecting to be really offended when they were laughing at the fact that Kevin was gay. But honestly, the way they turned the same bitch, I was laughing. I was just like, shit. I mean, sometimes you do have to laugh to keep from crying because she was literally on the brink of tears. And I guess her saying it kind of made it surreal. And she was just laughing because she never thought she would say that her husband was gay. But shit, do what you gotta do, bitch. Because Jabari is giving you everything and more, okay? So, to do. LaToya Lucky Rochelle Fish. Rochelle, let me find out that you really got the hots for the bitch. Let me find out that you got the hots for the bitch, bitch. Because you was a little too fancy at that restaurant. Mm. So now I'm kind of glad that Lady May never showed up. So now we can see your true colors shining on through. You don't want to be a part of Bishop Roundtable. But you want to sit at the actual roundtable with Bishop. Ro, Ro. I don't know where Lady May is from. But if she from Memphis, you don't want it with Lean. Because if Jessica Dime Peace and Kay Michelle ain't taught you shit else, them bitches fight. This is a seasoned woman. This is a seasoned wife. And this is a woman who has been through some shit. And I'm probably sure dealing with a minister, ew, she has dealt with some infidelity before in her marriage. So you better come with it. Charity, girl, kudos to you because... You are holding it together for somebody who is losing so much so fast. You lost your marriage, your best friend, your husband, and now you lost a father to your child because he is gone. Y'all need to all pitch in and get Lupita, Jackie Chan, Lucy Lufish a special gift because y'all are working her down to a motherfucking nub. Like she ain't got no more left to give. I'm sure the bitch can't even go home on holidays because that's when y'all need her the most. Uh-uh. And y'all didn't even invite her to the little situation with Mac at the end. I'm sure she was probably in the house preparing a dinner for this old whack-ass repast y'all was gonna have for the rapist Rapunzel. She is working 9 to 5 just to stay alive. Grace. Oh, Grace, 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 Grace. Um, baby girl, you are still a flower. But you ain't blossoming worth a damn, okay? Because if it ain't one thing, it's another. You didn't kill your uncle for all damn good reasons, and the nigga deserved to die. But you barely got off by the hands in your chinny chin chin. Family looking at you crazy. Man about to move to New York. Every man you get, you run off. So thank God that reporter Fox really loved your ass because he stuck around because the security guard didn't do you that much justice. Okay, because he left your ass on the first thing smoking to Chocolate City because he couldn't take your drama no more. Okay, so, you know, thank God reporter Fox came to his senses. I just hope that the family don't ruin it because every time something good happens to the green leaves, Chitty chitty bang bang, she goes to flame flame. So I am praying that he stick around. Child and fucked around and seen the preview for the coming episodes, and it don't look like he is. So, uh, girl, hold on to your love while you still got it, okay? Jacob, I don't know if giving away all your money slapped some sense into you 
or realizing that once your family turned on you, you really ain't got nobody, turned you to the Lord, but whatever it was, you are sold out for Jesus more than Helen Baylor because you are literally doing outside revivals in the heat of the day and passing out bologna sandwiches. Clarissa is on the sidelines like, oh, baby, I'm so proud of you for standing up and being a man of God. But she like, bitch, we, we struggling. And we living in a motherfucking cutie home. What's going on? You know, bitch, like, I can't even afford to get my ends clipped. And I'm bald. Child. Charity and Grace call themselves going over to uh, Jacob's house to try to tell him, listen, I don't know what you got going on, but we can see right now that it ain't going to work, so you need to come on back home and maybe take my job. Charity like, well, hold on, bitch. If you offer up your job to Jacob, what you going to do? Child, she cracked her lips open and said that she was going to maybe fly to New York. And let me just tell you, the reaction they gave her was the same reaction my family gave me when I told them I was going to New York. Like, hell no, ma'am. And I'm so glad that when they got back to the crib or whatever, Charity let Grace ass have it. Bitch, you always been the one leaving us in the first motherfucking place and you about to leave again, bitch? Hell no, ma'am. You about to stay right here. You about to deal with the trials and the tribulations. You finna keep your head above water and you finna scratch and survive like the rest of us, bitch. You not about to tuck your tail between your legs and run after the next piece of dick that you see, girl. Cause that's what happened the last time and you came back with a whole motherfucking door top. So, no. Oh, and Zora. Right when I said that maybe the sun was starting to shine in her motherfucking life, she crawled right back to musician fish. Why? Because... He put a couple of dollars on the nigga GoFundMe page. Dropping a couple of dollars on maybe promoting my daddy's GoFundMe does not warrant a welcome back home to a nigga that done everything but then slapped me up and down the road. No. Absolutely fucking not. And you just wait till uh, Sophia get a hold of this. Oh, you just motherfucking wait. Because I'm sure that once she get a hold of this, heads will roll. Okay. I'm excited to see what's going to happen next Wednesday. I wish we can get episodes every Tuesday and Wednesday, but that was just for the premiere. So I'm excited to see what we're going to get next Wednesday. And yeah, same place, same time.